I'm making this video to kind of open the ground for us to have a conversation as to why people are so angry about what she's doing and also to kind of give you reasons why I believe there is nothing she's doing wrong. Number one reason why I feel like this girl is doing absolutely nothing wrong is because life is a competition. You don't see musicians waiting for other musicians to allow their songs get number one on the charts before they decide to release their songs. Before I started doing comedy, I could literally count with my fingers the amount of people doing comedy. Chris Clown was inspired by somebody else and started doing comedy. I was inspired by Wofai Fada, some other American um, content creator, and I also started doing comedy. Other people were inspired by me and started doing content creation. Like, nobody waits for anybody. I've seen so many comments of people bashing her, saying things like, oh, she did not get the proper management. She should have first collaborated with brands before she did this. She should have done it the way Hilda Bassi did it. What if she cannot afford it? What if she's just a random girl from Ikiti who saw Hilda Bassi do this and decided, since Hilda Bassi did this, I can do it too. And it's very, very sad because the majority of people bashing her are women. For such a long time, women have not been inspired to do anything. But now is the time where women are actually aspiring to break records in Nigeria. And we are pissed. Why should anybody wait for anybody? Tell me one reason. What's the assurance that you're going to wake up tomorrow morning? And since you guys are so shocked by the fact that she's doing this shortly after Hilda Bassi already did it, I'm going to be telling you different people who have accomplished the same record in the same country in the same year. Most Rubik's Cubes solved underwater. In 2019, two individuals from China, Qiu Jingyu and Zhang Yuxuan, both attempted to break the record. Qiu Jingyu initially set the record for solving the three Rubik's Cube underwater, but Zhang Yuzhuan determined to surpass him and set a new record by solving the five Rubik's Cubes underwater on the same day. This were two different occasions. Someone else solved it and another person, after seeing he solved it, solved it on the same day. The longest human chain underwater. In 2019, the Egyptian national diving team initially set the record with 173 divers forming a human chain underwater. But the Ocean for Sustainable Development Group managed to gather 182 divers, surpassing the previous record and setting a new one. Should I keep going? So what this lady in Ikiti is doing is nothing new. So yeah, I'm done talking. But let me know what you think in the comment section. If you think that she should still wait for Hilda Bassi to get all the praise and get the recognition from Guinness before she tries to surpass it, yeah, let me know why you still think that.